Hudson's moving to the United States, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex became much more private about keeping their children away from the media and haven't shared a photo of Archie's face since. In addition, the pair also welcomed their daughter, Lilibet Diana, over the summer, but the parents of the five-month-old girl have not released any photos of her yet. Eagle-eyed fans spotted a possible pic of the newborn in Meghan's 40x40 video that was posted on the Archerwell website on Meghan's 40th birthday, but outside of that blurry, split-second moment, baby Lily has never been seen in public. It's been five months since she was born, people speculate a lot about whether she will be christened in the UK or the US. And if she is baptized in the States, royal biographer Andrew Morton, who has written the book Meghan, a Hollywood princess, says she will be regarded as an American princess. It has been rumored that Lily Bay could be christened into the Episcopal Church of the U.S., a member church of the worldwide Anglican Communion. In America, however, Harry and Meghan's team have said no decision has been made. That decision would make a break in tradition and make Lily Bay the first of the Queen's grandchildren or great-grandchildren not to receive a royal baptism within the Church of England. However, one royal expert told the son she would be very surprised if Harry and Meghan chose to hold the christening in the U.S. Royal author Ingrid Seward explained, Harry's grandmother is the supreme governor of the Church of England and Meghan was inducted into the Church of England. If they wanted, Harry and Meghan could have it privately in the chapel at Windsor Castle. The Queen is not going to say no, she may not be able to be there herself but she's not going to say they can't have it there. In an interview with Express.co.uk, the Bishop of Liverpool, Paul Bays, explained that despite the uncertainties that remain about this baptism, the Queen would be delighted to have Lilibet Diana baptized in the UK and thus respects the tradition within the royal family. The girl, now five months old, could benefit from an intimate and private ceremony, as was the case for her brother Archie. It remains to be seen what Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will choose, a baptism in the United Kingdom, in the company of the royal family, or a baptism in the United States, with their closest friends. For now, all the choices still seem on the table. If Harry and Meghan do decide on a UK christening for Lilibet, it could be the first time Meghan and Archie return to the UK since they moved to the US in early 2020. The five-month-old was born in June in California, unlike her older brother Archie, who was born in the UK. Her parents have yet to release a photo of their little one. One royal expert believes that Harry and Meghan may decide to introduce Lily Bet on Christmas. The more you protect somebody from the public gaze, the more some people in the public are desperate to be able to see her, Jonathan Sacerdote told Express. Somewhere along the line, they will probably want to issue a photo and let everyone see her and whether that's connected to Christmas or some other milestone event, we'll just have to wait and see, I think, he added. And, if you have been waiting for the paparazzi to snag the first pic of baby Lily, well, you probably shouldn't count on it. Meghan and Harry have gone to sue agencies that have obtained unauthorized photos. One such agency, Splash, even claimed to be bankrupted over the costly legal matter. A lot of people have decided that it is kind of not worth the hassle. It is not worth the fallout that comes from it. If you get the pictures of them, they are gonna try and sue you no matter what happens, no matter where you were, no matter if you were in the most legal, public place on the planet, CEO of London Entertainment Giles Harrison told the Daily Beast in October. That said, when it comes to seeing baby Lily Beth for the first time, it seems that the ball is totally in Harry and Meghan's court. Prince Harry might be taking a solo trip to visit his family sooner than planned due to Queen Elizabeth's health struggles. A source told OK! Magazine that the 95-year-old's recent hospital stay has led 37-year-old to begin planning a trip to see his grandmother. Since the holidays are just around the corner, the source stated that the prince might want to use them as an opportunity to spend time with the monarch. It's important to note that nothing has been confirmed by Harry or any of his representatives. So, we're taking this news with a grain of salt for now and we'll be patiently waiting for more details. The Queen was told to rest for two weeks following an overnight hospital stay last month, with doctors advising her that she can continue to undertake light, 
desk-based duties during this time. The monarch, 95, has mostly resided at Windsor Castle for the past 18 months during the pandemic, but she's expected to make some exciting changes to her Berkshire abode later this month. Every year, the palace shares photographs of royal household staff preparing Windsor Castle for the festive season in December. While Buckingham Palace is yet to confirm arrangements for this year, the Queen will reportedly host her family at Sandringham for Christmas. In another significant change for the monarch this year, it will be her first Christmas without Prince Philip by her side. The Duke sadly passed away at the age of 99 in April. Thank you for watching. If you liked, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. We will update the latest videos about the royal family every day. Thanks and goodbye.